Let's begin our Cajun vacation. Immediately after starting our journey, we ran across the Somerville Lake Retreat, which has a lighthouse? This lighthouse was actually a recycled wind tower. When an accident occurred, which made this section of the wind tower unusable, the retreat stepped in and created the lighthouse. It is a functioning lighthouse set to overlook West Virginia's largest lake, the Somerville Lake, and allows a 360 degree view of the area 10 stories in the air. As we continued, we ran through the lovely town of Greensville, Tennessee. While the area was under construction when we got there, it was the hometown of Andrew Johnson, the 17th President of the United States. So many historic sites are spread throughout the town. This is a replica of Andrew Johnson's birthplace, a small humble home. When not under construction, it seems as if you can walk through the house, but I had to settle for looking through the window. This brick house right beside Andrew Johnson's birthplace is his home where he lived. Once again, tours are normally available. This area was of course ripped apart, but looks as if it will be quite stunning once it's done. Now, walking a little away from there, I passed the Greenville Town Hall as we head to what was the capital of the state of Franklin. Once again, a small building that you can explore, and behind it is a lovely park. Now, a little car ride away is the Homestead Grounds, another one of Andrew Johnson's houses. This complex is far bigger than anything else we've seen so far. With a big garden behind the house and landmarks dotting the grounds, it is definitely worth a visit, even if you can't get a tour of the house. Once again on the move, we head to Andrew Johnson's National Cemetery. The cemetery is placed upon an old scouting hill where they would send signals to other hills to communicate. Standing atop the hill is Andrew Johnson's and his family's graves. It's a very tranquil destination to visit with beautiful scenery surrounding the site.
Finally moving out of Greensville, we make our way to Gatlinburg. I already have a video exploring Gatlinburg, but there always seems to be something new to see. Today we explore the Mountain Mile Shops. This is a wonderful shopping district with the focal point being the swing in the middle. This swing is called the Mountain Monster and drops you from 200 feet in the air, allowing you to experience phenomenal views of the Smoky Mountains and Pigeon Forge while pooping your pants. While this looks exhilarating, we came to see Downtown Flavortown. Downtown Flavortown is a Dave & Buster style arcade started by Guy Fieri. Inside houses an arcade, bowling, a tiki bar, a diner, and a merch store. So let's get in there. One cool part of Flavortown is their duck bowling. If you get enough points, you'll get a rubber duck. The next day of travel, we found ourselves in the University of Alabama. A small hidden gem is found behind Clark Hall, the Arts and Science Building. Many different art pieces decorate a tranquil garden nestled between two gorgeous buildings as we walk to the star of the show. Finally, we've reached Goldie 1971. Goldie 1971 is a 23 foot long robot that weighs roughly three tons. The statue represents the iron industry in America, as well as being a tribute to the Alabama Sloss Furnaces, which were extinguished in 1971. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Now, go watch one of my other videos while I close this one out. See ya!